What's going on? It's Coach Williams, and I'm back for another breakdown. So I want to preview what I think is going to be one of the biggest matchups in the entire Super Bowl, and it's Jamar Chase versus Jalen Ramsey. I think that these two guys are respectively some of the best guys at their positions. I think that Jalen Ramsey, to me, is the best corner I've seen since Darrell Revis, and I think Darrell Revis is the second best corner of all time. Jamar Chase, I normally don't do this with rookies and young guys. I usually want to see you for three years pretty consistently be at the top of the league. But just from what we're seeing from Jamar Chase this year, especially with him having his college teammate Joe Burrow, who he has an amazing connection with, I don't think I've seen a rookie season like this since Randy Moss. So I think he's a top five receiver. So having these two go up against each other in the Super Bowl for the first time is going to be awesome. Now, with all the love and all the praise that I'm giving Jamar Chase right now, the one thing about Jamar is I don't think that he's really gone up against a premier corner except for in the first matchup where he faced off against the Ravens and he had to play against Marlon Humphrey. Now, yeah, I know some people are going to hate on Marlon Humphrey, but if you don't understand the way that the Ravens defense works, Marlon Humphrey gets put into positions that most other corners don't and make his job very difficult. And this year, he had a little bit of struggles. Now, with that being said, Jamar Chase went to work on him in this game. So let's break down the first play that I want to show you. So one of the things that they were really successful in this game with was back shoulder throws. So right here, Humphrey is in man-to-man coverage, okay? And the first mistake that he does is he opens the gate way too early, right? You want to stay square to the line of scrimmage for as long as possible. And when you turn, you want to try to get contact with the receiver, right? You want to try to strike that shoulder pad or that armpit to be physical with him. He doesn't get hands on. Jamar Chase gets a nice, easy catch. The other thing that we want to notice here too, right, is look at Joe Burrow, right? He's got his arm cocked back and ready to throw. And Jamar hasn't even looked back at the ball yet. The chemistry between these two is incredible, right? So that's a great throw, great catch, first down, all right? So now let's move on to the dog, Jalen Ramsey, all right? You want to throw some back shoulder throws against Jalen Ramsey? I don't know if that's necessarily a good idea. So let's watch this play right here. We got DeAndre Hopkins, okay? And I don't think DeAndre Hopkins is a similar receiver to Jamar Chase. Jamar Chase is way more explosive, but we just want to see how Ramsey plays against back shoulders, okay? So they're on the goal line here. And so we'll notice, right, Ramsey stays square, right? He doesn't open up his hips. And when he does open up his hips, he gets hands on, right? Hands and feet have to be tied together. He gets hands on and tries to flatten out this route, okay? So then when the ball comes back, he's got nice, good position. He's chest to chest with him. He's got his hands right here, and it puts him in a position where he can break up this pass. And then I love this right here at the end where he pushes him off and stares him down, right? So my philosophy on defense is I think you need to have at least a couple guys on your defense that are pretty volatile dudes, right? You need a little bit of volatility on your defense. You need a couple guys that they might be good for a 15-yard penalty uh, once every few games because there's the intimidation factor, right? Now, we're not talking about headhunting anybody or being you know, illegal or hurting anyone. But that little stare down, that little physicality, letting him know that I'm going to be here all day and in your hip pocket, I love that stuff. So you might complain and say, oh, that was on the goal line. It's much easier to defend the back shoulder throw on the goal line. Well, let's look at this play right here in the field. Now, again, I don't think that uh, you know Mike Evans is a very similar receiver to Jamar Chase, but he is an X receiver. And Jamar has been mostly playing X this year, right? And this is going to be another back shoulder play. So I think they're in quarters coverage here. Ramsey does a good job of reading it. Look how patient he is, right? He's not getting out because he trusts his speed, right? But once Evans commits, he gets physical, right? Gets that arm in there, right? Doesn't just open the gate, gets the arm in there, and then gets body to body with him, cuts him off, gets in phase. You even get a little bit of a push off here from Mike Evans, but he's so physical that it keeps him with in the catch radius of the play. And it's nice to have super long arms. Knocks it down. Weddle, unfortunately, gets a penalty on this play, but lucky for them, 
They considered it after the play, so it was fourth down. The Rams got the ball back. So now let's talk about some of the ways that I do think that Jamar Chase can get an advantage here, okay? So we got a three-by-one uh, formation here, and we've isolated Ramsey and Devontae Adams. Again, Devontae Adams, I don't think he's necessarily uh, similar to Jamar Chase. Jamar's way more explosive, um, and Devontae's probably a better route runner. But I do think that this is something that they can do. Don't try to attack outside the numbers. Attack the middle of the field, okay? So Devontae squares him up, right? And he tries to minimize the distance. And what I think he's doing is he's waiting for Ramsey to throw his hands. He's watched the tape. He knows that he's going to be physical. So when he throws the hand, Devontae does a good job of knocking it down, gets inside, and that's all the space that he needs. Breaks the tackle here. And then the play ends. Well, Jamar Chase is a little bit different. He's built a little bit different. So we're going to watch the same thing, right? So three by one formation, isolating him on Humphrey right here, and he's going to run the slant. So again, opens the gate way too early, doesn't get hands on, gives him space. He gets inside, ball's caught. Well, now we got four defenders in the area. Breaks one tackle, breaks two tackles, breaks three tackles. That's the difference, right? If he can get the ball and get into open space, the Rams might be in trouble, okay? So we talked about a bunch of different receivers that I don't think he's necessarily similar to, but those guys played the X. Now we're going to look at a couple of guys that I do think that he is similar to when he has the ball in his hands, right? So we got A.J. Brown down here. Now, again, I don't think that they're necessarily similar, but I do think that they're that new mold of receiver that's a yak monster, right? The yards after catch stuff. And they play like running backs. They're super physical guys that are hard to tackle, okay? So again, this is why I don't think that they should attack outside the numbers, all right? So we got a little play action pass here. And... Ramsey plays his technique. I think he's playing cover three right here. He's playing his third, okay? So he is looking through. One of the things with him is his technique is just flawless, right? We've gone over this on TikTok before. And he does a good job of looking through the receiver to quarterback vision. And notice how low he stays, right? You see a lot of guys that have to drop down to make this turn, right? To turn their hips like this. Well, he stays nice and low. His hips and his head don't move at all. They stay on the same level. He comes out of the break and he is in position and he is coming like a bat out of hell on this football, breaks through it, pick. And then again, after the play, a little bit of extra physicality, right? Letting AJ Brown know I'm going to be here all day long. I love it. All right. So one thing that they might do if they have a little bit of trouble with Ramsey on the outside is try to move Chase around and get him in the slot or get him in some areas where Ramsey's going to have to move. But I think the Rams are insane if they do not have Ramsey travel with Chase. He's the only guy in their defense that's going to be able to cover him. And one thing that they've been doing a lot this year is they've been having him play this star role, right? So this nickel corner, nickel safety here, right? So on this play, the ball is not intended to go to A.J. Brown, and he is just playing a curl flat position here, okay? So the, as you can see, Tannehill's eyes are over here, right? So he comes all the way back, right? He's looking in the middle of the field. That's not there. So he looks back here, okay? And he is late on this throw, okay? It is very dangerous to throw late against Jalen Ramsey. He steps in front of it, knocks the ball down, they get lucky it's only an incomplete pass, okay? So if the Rams are going to put Jalen Ramsey in this nickel spot here, right, the star position that they've been doing a lot this year, this is one of the things that I think that the Bengals can do to get an advantage, all right? And it's come out in bunch sets, right? We saw before everything was all spread out. Well, if you bunch up like this, the way that the defense has to play it is it's four over three, right? Now, there can be some situations where they just say, all right, we're going to lock on and play him no matter what, like, because this is Debo Samuel right here. I think Debo Samuel, when he has the ball in his hands, 
is very similar to Jamar Chase, all right? So they can do some things where they say, okay, we're going to lock on and stay tight to our receivers, and right, we're not going to do any switches. But then you can run pick routes and rub routes, and if if that ends up happening with, with uh, Chase, it could be six, right? So one thing that I think that they can do is do this bunch, right? So we got the four over three here. And the way that they can get Chase the ball in some advantageous positions is the rules are usually something like Ramsey's going to have the first guy short to the outside. This linebacker is going to have the first guy short to the inside. The safety is going to protect in from the uh, top of the numbers to the hash or to the middle of the field. And then the corner is going to have the first guy that goes deep outside the numbers. Well, if you do that, then you know where Ramsey is going to play and you can have Debo or Jamar Chase go to where he's not going to be. So let's watch this play right here. Okay. So, right, we get this guy going outside and then you have Debo going straight up the field. So automatically that takes Ramsey off of him. Then he sneaks behind the linebacker, gets in the middle of the field, splits the safety and the linebacker, and he gone. Okay. Touchdown. So that is some of the stuff that I think that they can do with Jamar Chase if they're having trouble having him play the X and playing on the outside against Ramsey. But either way, I think that this matchup is going to be awesome between these two players. And I am super excited to see them play against each other. So I'm ready for the Super Bowl. And I know you are too. So as always, it's Coach Williams, Ballhawks, we fly. I'm out. Peace.